In this school, they assign the students relationships. The school will divide students into groups and let them live as a couple. The main protagonist, Jiro Yakuin, has secretly liked Shirori Sakurika, who grows up with him and he wants to be in a group with her. However, he is forced to team up with Akari Watanabe, the goddess of all boys. Akari likes the popular handsome boy, Minami Tenji, and is totally not any unnoticed boy, Jiro. They often argue with each other, which causes the scoring machine to constantly deduct their points. According to the rules of the school, if they can get an A-level, they can change their partners with those who are also A-level. Akari thinks Minami, who is excellent in every way, can probably get in a so, she asks Jiro to cooperate well with her to avoid their points being deducted. To add back their deducted points, she begins to seduce Jiro but Jiro has been single for years and it's his first time having intimate contact with a girl so, he gets so shocked that he escapes with an excuse of going outside to buy things from a distance. Jiro happens to see Shirori and Minami being together, thus getting to know that they are coupled. Back to the house arranged by the school, Jiro is very sad. Just then, the doorbell rings. Jiro's best friend comes to invite him to go to the Comic-Con. Before he leaves, Akari tells Jiro that if he wants to get points, he has to kiss her before he goes out, just like they are a real couple. Jiro directly kisses her lips, which makes their scores get added back. One day, when Jiro sees Shirori holding Minami's arm, he soon gets upset again. After class, it is raining outside and Jiro, who doesn't have an umbrella, is trapped in the school building. Just then, Shirori sits next to Jiro and talks to him. Jiro learns from the talk that the reason why Shirori held Minami's arm is that she was scared by bugs. As Shiori's explanation just restored some of Jiro's confidence, Minami comes to school to send Shirori an umbrella. Since Minami picked up Shirori and left, Jiro has been depressed. At night, Akari wants to get high scores to change her partner and Jiro also thinks so. Thus, he takes the initiative to feed Akari. They think it's just false acting but they often feel like kissing each other when acting intimately. One night, when he is dreaming of kissing Shirori, he is shouted up by Akari because she wants to watch American zombie movies together with Jiro so that they can get more points. Akari even buys Jiro couples pajamas. When she is about to change her clothes in front of Jiro, the electricity shuts down. Akari is so scared that she throws herself directly into Jiro's arms. Their intimate touch makes the machine keep adding their scores. Jiro can't help hugging Akari, praising her cuteness. It's time for the school to release the periodical report card. Jiro and Akari get a B for the recent excellent performance, while Manami and Shirori only get an E, which makes Jiro very distressed. Too many troubles make Jiro fall ill, but Akari doesn't stay at home to take care of him. At this moment, Jiro hears the doorbell ring. When he opens the door, it is Shirori who comes. Jiro falls asleep peacefully under the care of Shirori. Only then can Shirori reveal her heart. In fact, Shirori has always liked Jiro. She wants to secretly kiss Jiro while he is asleep, but at the last moment, she dismisses the idea because of the lack of a formal relationship. At night, Akari comes home and is taking a bath. Jiro comes to the door to thank her because it was her who asked Shirori to take care of Jiro, but now Akari is not happy. When she thinks of helping Jiro chase after Shirori, she inexplicably feels a little irritable. From this night on, Akari begins to sound out what kind of girl Jiro likes. Akari learned that Jiro likes girls who can make bento, and the next day she begins to make bento, intending to make a top-level bento for Minami. But before that, she will give all her practicing bento to Jiro. Afterwards, Akari is finally ready to send her best bento to Minami. Seeing Jiro hungry, she casually feeds him a bite, thinking that Akari will give such delicious bento to another man. Jiro starts to feel complicated. Just then, Shirori comes to the door to give them an apple pie. While chatting, Akari learns that she is completely wrong about Minami's preference for food. Jiro keeps praising her charm to cheer Akari, but accidentally reveals what he thinks. Indeed, all the boys in school like Akari and want to have an intimate relationship with her as a couple. Jiro immediately regrets saying this, but Akari has pushed him down on the sofa and grabs Jiro's hands to undress her, but he finally stops because of his last shred of sanity. Akari misunderstands that Jiro only likes Shirori with a forced smile, she tells the boy to stop the fake couple relationship. Since this day, Jiro and Akari have become much more estranged. When the school announces the couple's ranking again, they fall to level E, 
while Manami and Kairori are promoted to level A. When Jiro comes home in the evening, he sees the breakfast made by Ikari, so he tries to solve the misunderstanding with her. Jiro sincerely tells her that he hopes to resolve their misunderstanding and return to how they were before. Akari is so excited that she accidentally says that she likes Jiro, but soon she tries to correct herself and makes it a prank. Akari finally agrees to continue to play a couple with Jiro, which makes him relieved. Akari is talking to her classmates about gossips related to the internship of pretending to be a couple. Jiro is secretly watching Akari. At this moment, Minami attracts everyone's attention. The two girls that Jiro likes are very close to Minami, which makes Jiro a little disappointed. Meanwhile, Akari's friends bring up a rumor that Minami is happy with his fake wife Shirori and doesn't intend to change his partner, but Akari doesn't feel disappointed because her affection for Minami seems to be mostly taken away by Jiro. After class, Akari happens to meet Minami. She is so excited that she accidentally hits the shelf. When the box above is about to fall on her, Minami rushes to save her and they end up with a very intimate posture. Akari feels her heartbeats quicken, but when Minami tells her he has got along well with Shirori, Akari suddenly cries. As Minami steps forward to comfort her, Jiro's friend happens to see them from his perspective. Akari and Minami look like kissing each other. Meanwhile, Jiro asks Shirori if she and Minami will be a couple forever. Even though they like each other, they still don't express it clearly in the talk. Just as Jiro is about to invite Shirori to become his partner in the future, Jiro's best friend runs over. Immediately after, Minami and Akari also show up. Interrupted by these people, Jiro fails to reveal his feelings to Shirori. In the next class, Jiro hears that Akari takes leave for being sick. Just then, his friend tells him that after PE class, he saw Minami and Akari kissing. When Jiro comes home after class, he sees Akari lying on the couch and playing with her phone. He then blesses Akari, who immediately senses that Jiro is in jealousy. She chuckles and explains that Minami was just helping her get the dust in her eyes out. Akari is laughing, but tears are filling her eyes. She can feel herself becoming more and more distant from Minami. Seeing this, Jiro hugs Akari to comfort her. At night, Akari says others mistake her as a very open girl. Actually, she is very conservative. The kiss she had with Jiro before was her first kiss. Knowing that, Jiro feels happy for no reason. One day, when Jiro was on duty at school, he happens to meet his crush, Shirori, and they talk happily. However, it is seen by Akari. She is very sad but doesn't go to disturb them. At night, as Akari is indulged in the talk with Jiro, she accidentally says that she likes him. The girl explains that she is just casually talking. She is both expecting and afraid that her thoughts will be detected by Jiro. Later, the teacher announces that the school will hold an examination soon and students who failed the exam will receive high-intensity tutoring after school. Jiro asks about Akari's grades. However, Akari has even worse grades than Jiro, so he asks Akari not to go out but stay at home with him every day to make up the missed lessons. With the help of Jiro, tonight Akari does a very good job. Jiro finds that Akari is the type of girl who grows when she is praised, so he praises her as a genius. This makes Akari very happy. She notices that Jiro is a little tired as he has been busy improving their grades, so she intends to trick Jiro to help him relax. Akari and Jiro are clinging together. The young boy finally loses control and holds Akari under him, causing Akari to panic. She tells Jiro that she is just joking. At the critical moment, Jiro's nosebleed awakens his sanity. Akari quickly explains that she just wants to help Jiro relax. In this unexpected cohabitation life, the prettiest schoolgirl has become completely obsessed with the ordinary shy and lecherous boy, Jiro. Recently, Akari treats Jiro better and better, even inviting him to eat chocolate together but Jiro hasn't realized that Akari likes him, even searching online for reasons why the girl has changed a lot. It seems that his charm can't compare to the girl, Mei, who attracts many girls because of her boyish personality. After rejecting the girl's confession, Mei comforts her. Seeing this, when passing by, Jiro feels that he is far inferior to her in love. After school, Jiro lies alone under the bridge, instead of going home immediately, thinking about the reason why Akari has changed. Until dusk falls, when he returns home, he decides to take a shower first, 
but when he is taking off his pants, Akari suddenly breaks in to tell him the good news that they rank 8th in the class in the midterm exam. Excited, she hugs Jiro. When Jiro finishes bathing, Akari gently helps him dry his hair. During which, Jiro finds that if he calls Akari only by her given name, she will be so shy and dare not look into his eyes. Meanwhile, Mei also receives the midterm exam rankings and immediately asks her good friend Shirori to the football field, reminding Shirori that she must take the initiative, otherwise, Akari will monopolize Jiro. Just then, Shirori is hit by a football and falls unconscious. Mei immediately tells Jiro about it. When Jiro arrives at the healthcare room, he sees water and a sandwich on the table and realizes that Minami has already visited Shirori before him, making him feel a little annoyed that he is slower than everyone else in everything he does. When they are chatting, they both can't concentrate. Jiro thinks that Shirori is attracted to the excellent boy, Minami and Shirori is worried that Jiro will be taken away by the pretty girl, Akari. In the narrow space, Shirori, who is still depressed just now, suddenly makes up her mind to ask Jiro to help her practice kissing, but she soon says that he can reject if he thinks it is too embarrassing, with her hands waving. However, Jiro doesn't know how to refuse girls, especially girls he likes. Just as Jiro is about to kiss her, Shirori pushes him away. At this moment, Akari's friend skips classes and comes to the healthcare room to take a nap, but she soon leaves because she misunderstands that someone is having an affair here. Frightened, Jiro accidentally kisses Shirori, making both of them embarrassed, and he quickly leaves with an excuse. Afterward, Akari's friend tells her about this incident and then she receives a message from Jiro telling that he went to visit Shirori in the healthcare room just now, so she misunderstands it. At night, Akari doesn't return home and is in a daze in the cafe, even not noticing that Minami is also working here. After a sweet drink, she finally gets happier. She decides to go home and talk to Jiro, wondering if Jiro really had his first time with his first love. When she returns, home she finds Jiro falls asleep on the sofa and then begins to pack up the crumpled clothes around Jiro. After Akari nags for a long time, Jiro still doesn't wake up, so she takes off her clothes and gets into Jiro's arms. After that, she begins to blame Jiro for abandoning her to complete his transformation to a man. First unwilling to lose to Shirori, she sleeps next to Jiro in an intimate position for the whole night. When Jiro wakes up, he is shocked to see Akari wearing too little and then wakes her up angrily. He starts to tease Jiro, falsely claiming that Jiro took her first time last night, which makes Jiro very guilty. He doesn't expect to lose his first time while drunk. Hearing this, Akari realizes that she has misunderstood Jiro and that he and Shirori were not having an affair in the healthcare room, so she confesses that she was just teasing Jiro. Just then, she suddenly covers Jiro's ear and tells what she really thinks in her mind. In fact, Akari really wants to give her first time to the boy in front of her, but Jiro is so dull that he still does not get Akari's feelings. Afterward, both of Akari's friends ask her to quickly choose between Jiro and Minami or give up both of them, but Akari can't give her answer in such a short time. In the end, her friends come up with a good idea. They make an appointment with Minami on the day of the fireworks festival, and Akari also wants to take this opportunity to strengthen her relationship with him, so that Jiro and Shirori won't be affected, but Jiro doesn't know about it, so while helping Akari put on the yukata for the fireworks festival, he is secretly jealous in his heart. At night, Akari joins her friends in a low mood, though she is about to date her favorite boy and she can't help thinking of the ordinary boy, Jiro. Just then, the boys who helped the girls ask Minami out, tell them that Minami was called to work suddenly and would not come. Hearing this, Akari feels relieved, but she soon gets depressed when she sees Minami and Shirori walking together. It turns out that Minami is really going to work, and he happens to meet Shirori going to buy something on his way. But Akari doesn't know it and calls Jiro in tears. When Jiro asks her what happened, she doesn't tell him. After that, Jiro rushes out to find her, only to see her sitting in the doorway crying. When Jiro comforts her, she can't help throwing herself into Jiro's arms and crying aloud. After crying for a long time, Akari finally calms down. Later, she and Jiro watch the fireworks on the balcony. Akari deliberately finds an opportunity to grab Jiro's hand, making him hold her, but she still can't confess her feelings for Jiro. If you are interested in a part 2, let me know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed watching the video, consider liking and subscribing for more like it. Thanks for watching.